The first World Cup of the season 2010 has just ended. The race was hosted by Prague Troja. With me is here the second vice president of International Canoe Federation, Mr. Richard Fox. Richard, uh, what's your evaluation of the World Cup here in Prague Troja? Well, it's clear it was a great show for the public here and I think also for the Czech TV audience. Uh, the athletes always get a great service here from, from the Czech organizing committee. Uh, very close racing in the finals, so it's a great start to the World Cup season. You are saying start. What's necessary to improve? Oh, no, start to the season. It's the first race. So next week we are in Seo de Gel and then we finish in, in Augsburg. But a start of a series of races also for Prague next year, another World Cup 2012, and of course the World Championship to look forward to in 2013. So I think it's a, it's a start of a great future, but you already have a, you know, a big past as well. So we can look forward to some great racing. Yeah, that was my idea, the start of the great co great competitions that will be taking place here in Prague, Troja. What do you think? Was there a problem with we organizing committee should should uh, develop, should, uh, should eliminate in the next race in the World Cup 2011? Well, I think after the competition we can evaluate all sides of the, the, the competition, the, the technical aspects, uh, the, the venue, uh, the World Championship in 2013. It's a much bigger scale of event, about three times larger. So uh, we will work closely together with the ICF Technical Committee, with the Organizing Committee, to improve all the small details. But it, it's really uh, a great start. We, we, you know, we're at a high level in terms of the show for the athletes, the show for the public, uh, and, the, and the teams, they, they enjoy coming here and racing. So any small things we can do will only make it... Okay, we will, we will walk on it, but uh, let's get to the race. Were you watching it? Oh yeah, I saw all the finals and uh, a lot of the heats and the semis, and we can see some new faces, a uh, very high standard of, of racing in the finals. We finished just today with the, the K1, and that was, that was really exciting. What was the biggest, the biggest surprise for you according to the results? Well, one surprise for me was the, the Chinese team. We, we weren't sure if they were coming or not. They arrived on the Thursday and on Saturday they won two gold medals in C1 women and the C2. So I, I, I think you can call that a surprise. And uh, the Czech C1, uh, Michal Jane. Uh, first World Cup, that has to be a, a little bit of a surprise. So great performances there. Uh, Molmenti, not really a surprise. He's at the top level uh, for some time. And uh, Jasmine Schoenberg, world champion. So no surprises there. It was the first uh, race of World Cup series this year. We have mentioned it. What's your wish to another for the second and third World Cup race of the season 2010? Well, the racing will hot up now because there are some great names who, who didn't make it or didn't have a great race here. I mean, Martikan was back in, I don't know, eighth place, something like that. So we will see him come back into the mix. Estongue will be in uh, Laseo. The French, top French team will be there. So that duel, that story will go on. Kauza will come back. Hradilek will come back. So I think, uh, yeah, the racing will get closer and closer because all the top athletes and the new athletes who are trying to get a name on the podium, um, they'll, they'll be fighting hard too. The very last question may be the most difficult. If you should describe a World Cup here in Prague Troja with just one word, what word would you use? Uh, I have to use two words. Great impact. Great. That's uh, what's the word uh, of uh, uh, Richard Fox, the second vice president of International Canada Federation. Thank you for the interview and thank you for coming to Prague Troja. Thank you very much, Daniel.